Morning, YouTubers. On today's episode, we are going to do a test weld on quarter inch thick steel with a 125 amp flux core welder, the titanium 125 from Harbor Freight. I get asked a lot when I teach welding classes what's the limit of what you can weld with uh, a particular welder? Well, with uh, flux core wire, the limit, I'll show you here. This particular wire is good for 5 16 thick steel. So that's actually over our quarter inch plate. So the wire itself will weld thicker plates safely, and by safely I mean with adequate penetration. But the question comes up, is 125 amps enough to get a solid penetrating weld on quarter inch? Easiest way to find out is to do it, cut it open, etch it, see what we got. So that's what I'm going to do. Settings wise on this machine, they don't even have a quarter inch setting. But they say G to I, we'll set it at I an 8 to 10 so I guess you know what we're just gonna kind of max the machine out I guess and see what happens the mill scale on this stuff I know you can't really tell it's probably the worst I've ever seen for just run-of-the-mill steel it's like a sixteenth of an inch thick if you didn't clean it off and tried to weld through it I guarantee you that there won't be any penetration this as it is is going to be hard enough but All the tacks look like they fused. <laughs> Just by the look of it, I mean, I bet the weld's going to look pretty good under there. Now let's take a look. Oh, got some wormhole porosity in it, which doesn't surprise me too much, being that this 030 wire on this machine, we were kind of pushing it a little too hard. And then again, got some porosity on the back. Not really too surprising. Well, I did a cut and etch on this. Definitely visible. If you look at it here, you can see clear indications of porosity on that right side below the surface. So even though it's not really visible from the surface when you look at it in that area, the internal structure of the weld has porosity, so that's not good. Overall, the penetration is there. I mean, the weld nugget has made it past the root and fused it. And you can see there's porosity on the surface that's visible, and there was one or two pieces in there too, but it has the penetration, but we don't want the porosity, that's for sure. I went ahead and took a clean piece of steel, same steel as a test weld, and ran two welds on it to see. So the weld on the left is run with the proper stick out, and the weld on the right was welded with uh, too short of a stick out. I don't see any porosity in either one of them if you look here. They both look clean. So I'm wondering what's going on here as to why we have porosity on our fillet weld. I think what I'm going to do is clean up another set of plates and then we're going to do another test weld just like that one and then we're going to see what happens. All right, I got this set up. I already welded a test weld on the other side doing circle ease. Got it right there. 
I'm going to do like a little stitch motion back and forth and just try and stay on that leading edge of the puddle and see what happens. So visually, I don't really see any evidence of porosity through the flux. Same thing on this side. I mean, the weld pre-cleaning looks good. So did the other weld. Give that another minute to cool off and then uh, clean it up and see what we got. Well, let's take a look at what we got. Much better looking, no evidence of porosity that I can see. That was done circle ease. Now this side looks like there is some evidence of porosity. Yeah, there definitely is. See there? It's overall better. However, I mean, that definitely looks better. I'll let that cool off and we'll do a cut and etch on it and see if we have any internal hidden porosity. All right, well, our second test went better. So here's our first test. You can see evidence of porosity on that side. And then on our initial pass, definitely have cluster porosity in there. Not good. Then I did a couple tests on this plate here. They didn't have porosity. So I went and cleaned up a set of plates, same material as that, did two passes. So the initial pass, I did a circle E movement, which I didn't happen to film that, but overall, I don't see any evidence of any porosity. Then I did a stitch movement where I went back and forward trying to keep that wire on the leading edge. And there's some pieces, a couple pin dots of porosity here and there. It's better than our first weld, but not the best. So then I did a cut and etch. And if you look here, let me get this. So it might be hard to see. Let me see if I can see it. There are little dots of porosity on the right side which was the stitch instead of the circle E. Let me see if I can get that. It's really hard to see, but right there, yeah, you can see them. So there is some internal porosity there. That's not good. Overall, the penetration is there. Both of them penetrated into the root and fused it for a single pass, more than acceptable. So realistically, at least based on what I see here, my thought is, is that going straight in based on the amperage that I have and settings that I have, it's probably either building up gas inside of the weld from the wire, or it's kind of like the wires riding in there. And it's just by doing the circle E, I'm always on that leading edge so it's biting in the new material and it's not building up excessive reinforcement. I mean, realistically, this is pretty thick metal and for 030 flux core, I should really be using 035 and a little bit bigger of a welder. If you have any ideas as far as what's causing that, I'm all ears. Like I said, with quarter inch plate like this, I stick weld it. And I never have an issue with porosity or penetration with stick. But um, I primarily use flux core for like exhaust or thinner material simply because I don't have a big wire welder that I would use gasless flux core. And honestly, if I was going to weld thick plate with a wire process, I'd use dual shield, which works fine. And I don't, you don't generally have the porosity issue. But yeah, anyways, one more quick look at that. 
Like I said, that looks pretty good and the penetration's there. So I would say with a proper technique, this 125 amp uh, titanium welder from Harbor Freight will weld quarter. With, again, proper prep, proper technique. Realistically, the duty cycle of machines probably only 10%, so you can only weld one, two minutes out of 10 and let it cool. Otherwise, you might have a meltdown, but um, it did it, you know, in a pinch. Much rather stick weld, but there you have it.